It is a special one-hour edition of TNT NBA Tip-Off presented by Autotrader.com, during which we are going to be holding the draft for the BBVA Compass Rising Stars Challenge, which will be played a week from tomorrow night, All-Star Weekend in New Orleans. The GMs, Grant Hill and Chris Weber. So here we are in Studio J. Uh, you got those two. You got Shaq. You got Kenny the Jet Smith. You got Charles Barkley. And as if that were not enough, we got a real-life movie star in the studio with us. Samuel L. Jackson, happy to see you. Yeah. Here Sam. in Atlanta. And you love, baby. Returning basically to Atlanta. Morehouse man. Yes. Yes, exactly right. Good to have you here tonight. Thank you. Glad to be here. And uh, RoboCop is coming out next week. Yes, it is. You know, something interesting. Uh, Anthony Davis put out a tweet a short time ago, Anthony Davis of the Hornets, saying that uh, he knew how he was going to spend his night. Checking out an early screening of RoboCop with some teammates and team staff. Looking forward to it. Awesome. There you go. Big screening in New Orleans. And you said they have one in Boston, too, right? In Boston, Boston. as well. Yeah. So, very good. Awesome. You're, you're a big NBA fan, man. You have been for a long time. Who's, yes, your, who's your team? I'm a Laker fan. We won a game last night. <laughs> <laughs> with, with four guys, actually. I'm not five. a Laker fan. <laughs> yeah. yeah. But uh, Toronto Raptors were one of you for a while. I was a huge, a huge Raptor fan. I was in Toronto when the team started. So I went to all their first games, and I got close to a lot of the guys. And enjoyed the team. So isn't I still a, support them. Isn't that a great city, though? Yeah. 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 I have a question. We have two wannabe actors on, this, on the set here. No, Who, which two? Charles and Shaq. No. Wait, so I got 14 I, saying, movies. So, have you seen both of their works? <laughs> so who who first has? Of all, first who of all, I'm just gonna ask him who's the best actor. Charles only did one movie. That don't count. It was it was work though. That no, it was wasn't a work. Movie. Bugs Bunny so was the star of that movie. <laughs> Bugs Bunny was the star of that movie. Okay. I got I got 14 movies in my belt. It's Samuel, me, then you. <laughs> you understand? You Samuel 100, me 14, we still you on one. You. We still waiting on you to have a good one. Sam, do you remember that day when you walked in the theater and saw Kazam? Uh, no. <laughs> That's all right. That's but all right. I do know he worked with Bill Freakin. That's right. That. See, thank you. Huh. That's a, Blue that's chips. A plus right there. Oh, that, that, you know what? Yeah, that yeah, was yeah, a very you know good movie. I know what. I give I know you credit. What? I don't need your credit. <laughs> Samuel, me, then you. <laughs> Sam, hundred fourteen to one. I want to know. You, you're known in Hollywood as the Charles Barkley of acting because of your work ethic. Uh huh. Really? Work? <laughs> I didn't know that. <laughs> How many movies Work have you been in? That. How I'm many not, movies total uh, have you been in? I really don't know. Um, I was looking at my IMDb page the other day trying to remember the name of a movie I was in, and they had 151. Wow. wow. And I think that's wrong. Wow. wow. You think you've been in more? No, less. Okay. So you know, they have stuff on there that I haven't even been in. Okay. I don't even know. It could have been stuff you've seen. Somebody yeah. might have said your name in that movie, and then they counted as you're in the movie. Exactly. <laughs> I used to see you in L.A. and all that. I've seen all your movies. I just want to say you did a hell of a job in Django. Oh, thank you. Hell of oh, a yeah, job. Yeah. Thank you. I, I, <laughs> yeah, I mean, that Excellent job. <laughs> you know, and I, and I actually thought uh, Christopher, what's his name? Chris, Christoph Waltz. I thought you and him made, uh, Jamie obviously did a great job. Uh, Carrie did a great job. But your character... And Chris and Vault's character, they were amazing. Thank you. I mean, that was awesome. Speaking hey, of all your characters, uh, all the movies you've done, you know, if two or three came to mind, are there two or three that, you know, that are the funniest to you or you enjoy doing, or do they all just blend in? Or? Well, my favorite, the one that I watch all the time, that if I had a choice to watch, would be Long Kiss Goodnight. Mm. Okay. Because I like action movies, and I had a great time doing that movie with Gina Davis. Yeah, that was good. I love that movie. We happen to have a clip of, uh, of RoboCop, which uh, oh. premieres next week. Roll it. Until today, Thomas King was a convicted felon, wanted for rape, arson, and murder. Here he is, just steps away from two of Detroit's finest. These two officers are completely unaware of the monster in their midst. And then, in 60 seconds, I repeat, just 60 seconds, Detective Murphy brings him down. You have the right to an attorney. If you cannot afford an attorney, one will be provided for you. This, my friends, is the future of American justice. How many like Thomas King will pay for their crimes now that RoboCop is here? 
<laughs> so there you see it on February 12th. Yeah. Uh, uh, it, uh, it premieres. What else can you tell us about it? Without, uh, what are you at liberty to tell us about the film? Um, it's a great film, a great reenactment of a very famous film uh, directed by this wonderful uh, Brazilian director, Jose Padilla, who's amazing. He did some great, great Brazilian films before. Now he's being introduced to this audience, and uh, the young people in the film are really good. And uh, Gary Oldman, Michael Keaton, really great stuff. And that's my imitation of uh, Al Limbaugh. Right. <laughs> <laughs> uh, no, 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 that's your question. Uh, I think all of us, you know, we start out as a, a little kid, little basketball players, and, and sometimes we've all had amazing lives and careers, and you shake yourself sometimes like, I can't believe this has happened to me. Do you ever sit back and say to yourself, like, wow, this is amazing, my, my, my career, my journey? Yeah, I, I do it all the time. That's one of the, the great things about this business is that I've been able to, to live out a fantasy. So when people say, well, why would you do a movie like Snakes on a Plane? I did a movie like Snakes on a Plane because that's the movie I would have gone to see when I was a kid. And I always wanted to see myself in that kind of movie. So that's my chance to be on a plane full of dangerous things. <laughs> so I do cowboy movies, I do war movies, all the things that I liked. But one of the great you know, byproducts of doing those things is it puts me in contact with guys like you guys, too. So I never would be standing in the studio talking to guys that I watched on TV that I admire playing a sport that I thought I could play and never could. <laughs> but now I'm here talking to you guys, and that's really wonderful, too. And I get to meet all kinds of old guys like, you know, Cagney. I was in his last film. Um, I play golf with Sidney Poitier. Things like that don't happen to you unless you kind of put yourself in that right position. But like we were talking about, Sherman and saying that he put himself in that place that you go to school like you were saying today stay in school do that why not stay in school then you can play pro ball or do the things that you need to do to put yourself in a position to succeed and once you've done that success is a byproduct of all the other things you've done one of the one of the great combinations of not only your love for basketball but your acting ability came in the uh, the first lockout uh, and you have to go back a little a little ways here to remember this Nike spot, it's good. <laughs> no luck on that. Oh, three guys playing horse. It's fantastic. You got HO? Is that right? HO? HO? Whoa! <laughs> 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 Underdog, put that on a t shirt. <laughs> All right, we are uh, we're just getting big house. Start, we are just <laughs> yeah. getting started here with Samuel L. Jackson. Um, we're going to put these guys to the test when oh. we come when we come back and see who remembers memorable lines from Sam in memorable films. Well, this is not in the quiz, but this is certainly one you'll never forget. Enough is enough. I have had it with these mother snakes on this mother plane. Everybody strap in. I'm about to open the window. <laughs> <laughs> Snakes on the plane. Well, we <laughs> there you go. You got that one. I'm one up. All right. You guys are at the desk. All right. Oh, that's fun. Awesome. One up already.